What's going on YouTube? It's your boy C and today we're doing another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be pretty darn short and it's going to cover basically how to prevent overruns or crackling as people call it in Fruity Loops. Now um, basically what this crackling sound a lot of people are hearing is caused by is their computers being overloaded by the data they're making through all their instruments and everything playing. Now the beefier your computer the more it can typically handle before it starts overloading and crackling like crazy. Now um, to, to remedy this what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into options and audio settings. Now there's several different things you can click here. Uh, normally it's going to open up to audio sometimes it doesn't I'm not sure why but just make sure you're on the audio tab in the input and the output tab you're gonna click this now everyone's m menu options are different uh, this is mainly because everybody's computer is different typically what you're looking for is your sound card but uh, I do recommend you use ASIO drivers I won't go into them too much for this tutorial, but I will in the future. Uh, right now, we're going to go to my default sound card, which I have installed as my Sound Blaster Live. Now, um, this over here is our buffer length. This is how long it takes from you pressing the key on your keyboard to give feedback on the program. The higher you set the setting, the more time your computer has to think about it, the less likely you'll overrun it, you know, give it too much data and cause it to overload. See, the higher I set this, I'm going to press this now. There was such a delay right there. So, one, two, three. There was a big delay. Now, the lower you set it, the lower your delay is going to be but it's going to be more CPU intensive. Now you see these underruns are going up. When your CPU gets overloaded, it under it underruns to prevent, I guess, any issues or errors. It's just completely harmless all the crackling. It won't totally kill your PC, but or cause any long-term problems. It's just the program being overloaded. And I'm getting underruns just talking here, not even doing anything but um basically on a really low setting you're gonna hear crackling like really easily like hear all those crackling auto gun's good for that on a dinosaur or a PC like mine but in any case um if you wanna fix this the easiest solution other than doing a whole lot of things to reduce your CPU usage to your computer is to raise your buffer but then there's gonna be a delay when you put it in so you have to find a happy medium for what your computer's capable of uh, do your best in finding something but up here I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna pull up my ASIO drivers which do install with Fruity Loops I'm clicking show the ASIO panel just so I can show you how to change your buffer if you are using uh, the ASIO drivers. There's a slider right here and you basically slide it to whatever's good for you. Now the maximum from what I can see is 2048 samples. That's a lot lower than how high you can go with just using your sound card which is around 8000 192 samples so the only difference is ASIO drivers are a lot more efficient in their processing of your audio so you can see I'm on only at 2048 samples but we're not crackling from well not crackling much from these cards but basically once you surpass that limit and you're getting a lot of crackling and you can't stand it anymore I guess your only alternative is to go over to your sound card and turn up that buffer length but eventually you're gonna reach your PC's threshold where it just can't take anymore 
I'm using a computer that's over four years old now and I really need an upgrade which is why I'm working in a pizza factory right now kinda off subject but <laughs> all you need to know is that this is the buffer to drag to change underruns and overruns if you play with this enough you can likely reduce the amount of underruns you're getting now another thing you need to look at is your sample rate and your interpolation this is basically how high of a quality of audio it's going to play as you're making your beats. Now if you have some crazy ass supercomputer with like 54 gigahertz cores, go ahead and max this out to 512 sync and 192,000, but 99.99% .99 of us don't have that, so I recommend just leaving them on the defaults because anything higher is more intense for the computer and these are it's been optimized for this so I recommend on leaving it on the defaults other than that that covers your basic audio buffer settings and I hope this helps out hope you get less crackling and that should do it for this tutorial thanks for watching if you want to do me a big favor please hit that yellow button to the right and subscribe because if you haven't already you'd be pretty much awesome and if you are already you are awesome so thank you alright peace out everybody hope to see you at the next tutorial take care